step one, open the program. Step two, click here where it says sequencer length, or you can press G on your keyboard and it will show you the screen here. Step three, use the arrow or the arrow here if you want to use your mouse and change this to four bars. Next thing you want to do is click this button here, tempo. Currently it's 90. Use these arrows or the arrows here. I'm going to change mine to 94. The next thing is click this button here where it says tempo change and quantize or you can press J. Currently it's at 1.8 using my arrow. Change it to 1.16. Next step, hit record and Next step, lay down a beat, but it sounds boring. Come over here, hit where it says swing or hit S on your keyboard. Look at the menu, it's at 50. Let's go ahead and move our swing up to 54. Hit play. Got bounce. Next step, press D or you can hit song copy over here. Look at the menu. What do you want to copy? I want to copy my first sequence to my second sequence. Do you want to copy? Hit enter. Hit this arrow. We're now at our second sequence. Let's find a sample. Let's chop them. Come to setup. Or you can press Q. Type in your numbers or you can hit this thing here, 19. Now look here, we're ready to chop. Notice the SB1200 comes with eight faders. My Akai MPK Mini has eight knobs. I have them mapped together. So the first two faders, the second two faders, first two knobs, second two knobs. As I move, you can see here is my start and my end points. So this point, let's chop up the sample. Now that our sample's chopped, make sure you're on sequence two. Hit the record button and uh, let's go. Sequence one, how's our drums? Sequence two, how's our sample? Let's come over here, change the song mode, come over here, hit the record button, let's make a song. Now that we're here in this menu, we're first step in our song. We're going to go ahead and say I want sequence number one to be the first thing to play. And then let's go to our second step and say we want sequence number two. Hit enter. Our third, we're going to go back to our drums. Enter. For the fourth step, we're going to go back to our sample, enter, and let's play our song. All that's left to do is press play. You notice the first sequence is just my drums. And that's how you make beats in the uh, ESPI sampling. SP1200 replica. It's dope. And just to show you guys a little bit more about it since I'm pretty much already here. Let's go to enable 3D view so you guys can see that it can actually look more like a little bit of a drum machine. Come over here, it's gonna adjust the angle of it. So what you're looking at is a virtual SP1200. And you can also do some stuff like change the uh, appearance, you know, kind of check it out to whatever you're liking. And just so you guys know, you don't actually need a MIDI controller in order to be able to use this program. Um, the developer was actually really genius the way he set it up. So these keys down here are going to be your eight pads that are, that are down there.
obviously you would use your mouse to pretty much control, you know, the pitch, the faders and everything like that. You hit the control button and they'll take you to different banks. button will take you to this menu here where you can either tune your drums so by tuning that means you hear this drum here pitch it up obviously or pitch it down so that's what that does there or you can go to mix so you can use these as pretty much a mixer pretty much mix all your sounds as you're making them you know um, and then you have multi mode. I haven't really learned what this does, but I think you can control multiple things at the same time, multiple faders all at once. Um, there's a lot of dope features in here. I'm still using the demo. That's why it says unlock sampling. Um, as soon as I do pay for this, you guys will see more features. But if you click here, it'll say, you know, please unlock for sampling. So uh, from what I understand, you can sample files that are on your computer into this machine. Um, you can load them kind of just like drag and drop and you can also use files like a sampling mechanism kind of like a record player So pretty much you could sample the audio as it's playing uh, So more to come as I play a little bit more with this program. Peace